Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Upload. I'm Maris Aylward. Today's class is a strong vinyasa flow yoga class. We work towards a peak pose in this one. It's an arm balance called Firefly Pose. I recommend this for more intermediate and advanced yoga students because there is minimal instruction in this class, so you should already be familiar with the common yoga postures. And this way you can really slow down and breathe fully feel the postures and the subtle sensations and the energies in the body. If the arm balance is new to you, don't worry about it. I suggest you just try this out, try something new, do what you can, and enjoy the process. For the challenging sequences and the poses, I'll offer you options and modifications so you can choose, you can work at the intensity that is right for you today. Always balance effort and ease in your practice. What that means is you find a place in the pose that's challenging enough for you so you provide a space for change and growth to possibly happen. But at the same time, you're still able to breathe, to stay calm amidst the challenge, and you're still able to enjoy yourself in the pose. Check the description box below for all the information that you need about this class. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel and that way you don't miss any videos. Try this out, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and as always, just do what you can, rest when you need to, and enjoy your practice. Let's start. Start in child's pose. Turn your attention inward. Notice the breath. Observe sensations in the body and watch the thoughts as they come and go. Gradually deepen the breath. If you're comfortable with it, add your ujjayi breathing. Let your breath anchor you in the present moment. Set your intention for your practice today. Add your side stretch, walk the hands over to the right to lengthen the left side of the upper body and the left arm. Anytime you want a deeper stretch, walk the hands further to the right and keep pressing the left hip down. Stay a few more seconds in your pose. And now switch sides, walk your hands over to the left. Feel the play of opposites. As you reach your hands to the left, press the right hip down. Enjoy the lengthening in the right side of the upper body and the right arm. And keep the breath going. On your next breath, walk the hands back to the center and turn the palms up to face the ceiling. Notice any changes in the upper back, the shoulders, and the arms. Turn the palms down again, move up to hands and knees for cat-cow. Inhale, lift the tailbone up, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, curl the tailbone round your back, scoop the belly in. Again, inhale, lift the tail, arch the back. Exhale, curl the tailbone round your spine and push the floor away. Do a few more times at your own pace. Connect the breath and the movement.
come back to neutral spine for free movement. There is no right or wrong way here. Move in any direction that feels good to you. Lean forward to the sides or back. Explore different positions with your palms or your fists. Move the head. Notice how the neck feels. Enjoy your own exploration here. And we'll do a few more seconds of free movement. Make your way back to the center for our first downward facing dog. Spread the fingers, press the palms down, tuck the toes under and come up. Free movement in the lower body. Walk the feet in place. Notice the calves, the ankles and the toes. Eventually pause in your down dog for plank waves. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, wave forward to plank. Inhale, pause in plank, stay strong. And exhale, wave back, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, curl the tailbone, ripple the spine forward to plank. Inhale, pause. Exhale, wave back to downward facing dog. Do two more times on your own, activating the entire body. Back to downward facing dog for a modified vinyasa. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, wave to plank. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, lower down with control. Inhale, come up for cobra. Exhale back to downward facing dog and pause a few seconds here. From down dog, bend the knees and walk the hands back towards the feet, a soft forward fold at the back of your mat. Keep the knees bent, relax the upper body. Let the arms hang or cup the elbows if that feels better. Add any movements that you like. No tension in the upper back, the shoulders and the neck. And breathe. If you have the elbows, let them go. With the knees soft, exhale and slowly roll up. Once you're up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, arms behind you, interlace the fingers and fold forward from the hips. Drape the chest over the thighs, let the head go. Any amount that's possible for you, bring the palms closer together. Notice the wrists, the elbows and the shoulders. On your next exhale, come up, use the power of your legs. Once you're up, release the hands, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. From here, bend the knees and walk the hands forward to downward facing dog. Vinyasa. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, wave to plank. Inhale, pause. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause a few seconds here. Step the feet together, lift the right leg up for core planks. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest, shift forward to plank. Three more, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, core plank. 
two more inhale and exhale last one inhale and exhale step the right foot forward close to the right hand and drop the left knee down low lunge walk the hands up when you're ready reach the arms up look forward at one spot or look up lift the heart keep the face and the shoulders soft keep the breath steady If you're looking up, look forward again. Palms together in front of the heart for prayer twist. Left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Press the palms together to help you twist to the right. Look over the right shoulder. On your next breath, release, unwind from your twist. Hands on the floor and step back to downward facing dog. You can stay here or add the vinyasa of your choice. Come to plank, knees down or knees up. Exhale lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale back to downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. Feet together, left leg up. Inhale here. Exhale, core plank, hug the knee into the chest, shift forward. Three more, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, really hug the thigh in. Two more, inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Step the left foot close to the left hand, drop the right knee down for your low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Reach the arms up. Look forward or add your mild back bend, lift the heart and take your gaze up. Look forward again, bring the palms together, hands to the heart for a prayer twist. Right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Keep the length in your upper body as you actively press the palms together Twist to the left, look over the left shoulder. Relax the face, the neck. Carefully release from your twist. Bring the hands down to the floor and step back to down dog. Stay here or vinyasa. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, wave to plank. Inhale, pause. Exhale. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, come up to your back bend. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Linger a few seconds in your downward facing dog. Look forward at the space between the hands. You can either walk, step, or hop the feet forward to forward fold. Feet hip distance apart, relax the upper body. Any variations you'd like to add here, go ahead. With the knees soft and the arms relaxed, on your next exhale, slowly roll up. Use the power of your legs and your core to lift you up. Once you're up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, arms behind you, interlace your fingers your non-habitual way this time and fold forward again from the hips as you lift the arms up, relax the head. Maybe bring the palms a little closer together this time as you move your hands away from the hips. Enjoy the stretch in the chest and the shoulders. On your next exhale, come all the way up to stand. Once you're up, release the hands, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, go straight to forward fold, Uttarasana. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, plant the palms, either step back to down dog or lightly hop back to your low plank, Chaturanga, 
and move through your vinyasa will meet in downward facing dog. Step the feet closer together and lift the right leg up. Roll the hips open to the right and bend the right knee for core plank twist. Inhale here. Exhale right knee to your left elbow. Touch the left arm if you can. Again, inhale, roll the hips open. Exhale, core plank twist. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Stay here or extend the right leg out to the side. Plant your back foot down and reach the left arm up. Use both feet and the right hand to push the floor away. Lift the hips. Now carefully release, left hand down, step back to down dog with the right leg floating up and step the right foot forward. Keep the back heel lifted for a high lunge. Balance on the ball of that back foot, come up and reach the arms up. Get ready for fists of fire. Inhale here. Exhale, hands to fist, lower the arms, bend the back leg. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Eagle arms, swing the left arm under the right arm. Press the palms and forearms together. Now eagle legs, lift the left leg up and wrap the left thigh as tightly as you can over the right thigh. Option to hook your left foot behind the right leg. Challenge the leg, sit lower if possible, melt into the pose. Breathe. Get ready for a warrior three with eagle arms. Unwrap your top leg. Kick the left leg behind you as you tip the upper body forward. Keep the arms in this position. Steady gaze on the floor. Be patient with your balance. We're almost there. Carefully release. Step that left foot back to high lunge. Then unwrap the arms and reach them up. Bring the hands down to the floor and from your lunge, turn to face the left side of your mat the long edge of your mat. For side lunges, turn the toes out, bend the knees and drop the hips. On your own, move right to left. Bend one leg, extend the other, any degree that's possible for you. Notice the inner thighs, the ankles, the knees, and the hips. Make your way back to the center, turn your toes in, fold forward from the hips, completely relax the upper body. Get ready to come up, bring your hands to the hips, use the power of your legs to lift you up. Find your warrior two, turn the right foot out, bend the right knee, stretch the arms out to the sides for Vira Bhadrasana two. Let's add some movement. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, arms out, back to warrior two. Again, inhale and exhale. Three more times. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Last one. Exhale, keep the legs here for a bound reverse warrior. Wrap your left arm behind you, right palm up, right arm up. Keep the lunge in the right leg. Enjoy the stretch in the right side of your upper body and your right arm. Look in any direction that feels good for your neck. On your next inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands down to the floor, step back to down dog. 
optional one-legged vinyasa if you'd like to try keep the right leg floating up as you come to your plank pose exhale lower down one-legged chaturanga both feet down inhale come up for your back bend and exhale back to downward facing dog linger a few moments here in your downward facing dog We'll do everything on the other side, feet together, left leg up, roll the hips open and bend the left knee. Core plank twist. Inhale here, exhale left knee to your right elbow. Three more times, inhale, exhale twist. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Stay here or extend the left leg out. Plant your right foot down and reach the right arm up. Stay strong. Keep the breath going. Carefully release the right hand down to the floor. Downward facing dog with your left leg up. Step the left foot forward close to your left hand. Keep the back heel lifted for your high lunge crescent pose. Reach the arms up fists of fire. Inhale here. Exhale, hands to fists, lower the arms, bend the back leg. Again, inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come up for eagle. Swing the right arm under the left arm. Press the palms together, steady gaze. Set up the legs, lift the right foot, wrap the right thigh over the left thigh, keep your standing leg bent. Maybe hook the right foot behind the left leg if possible. Melt into the pose, bend the standing leg more, sit the hips lower. Stay in your eagle arms as you move into a warrior three variation. Unwrap the top leg, kick it back behind you. Tip the upper body forward. Maintain level hips. Long line from the crown of the head to your right heel. Almost there. Carefully release, step that right foot back to your high lunge. Unwrap the arms and reach them up. Take a breath. Then bring the hands down to the floor and turn to face the right side of your mat for a second set of side lunges. Turn your toes out, bend the knees, drop the hips, and travel right to left on your own. Feel free to add any variations that you like here. Maybe keep your hands off the mat to test your balance. Do a few more times on each side. And when you've done both sides equally, come back to the center and turn the toes in. More active forward fold this time. Grab the legs or the ankles or the sides of the feet if you can. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, fold deeper. Gently pull the elbows out to the sides. Press the shoulders away from the ears. Relax the head. Enjoy the lengthening in the back of the legs and the back body. Keep the breath going. Get ready to come up, release the hands, bring the hands to the hips, use the power of your legs to lift you up to stand. Find your warrior two on the left, Virabhadrasana 2, we'll add our movement. Inhale, arms up, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee back to warrior 2. Again, inhale and exhale. Three more times.
Pause the legs in your last warrior two for bound reverse warrior. Wrap the right arm behind you, left palm up, left arm up. Stay with the challenge of that lunge in your left leg. Look in any direction that feels good for your neck. On your next inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. Step back to down dog. Optional vinyasa, maybe one-legged. Keep your left leg floating up as you come to plank. And exhale, lower down, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, come up for your back bend. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Pause a few seconds here. Now bend the knees and walk your hands back towards the feet. Padang Ustasana, hook your big toes with the second and third fingers, seal it with the thumbs. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, fold deeper. Bring the chest closer to the thighs, shoulders away from the ears, and let your head go. Enjoy the lengthening in the back of the legs and keep the breath going. On your next breath, release the big toes and with the knees soft, exhale, slowly roll up. Use the power of your legs to come up. Once you're up, inhale, reach the arms up for a standing back bend, lift the heart. Exhale, go straight to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees and walk the hands forward to your down dog. Some vinyasa options for you here. You can try to add a double push-up, come to plank, exhale, lower down just halfway, then push back up to plank, lower down again, and inhale to your back bend, upward facing dog or cobra, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Feet together, right leg up, roll the hips open to the right, bend the right knee for core plank variation. Inhale here, exhale, right knee to the right elbow, Two more, inhale, roll the hips open. Exhale, right knee to the elbow, touch the right arm if you can. One more, inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow, pause here, optional push-up. When you're back up to plank, experiment with extending that right leg, kicking the right heel out, just any amount that you can. Then back to downward facing dog with the right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot forward, close to the right hand, and bring your left knee down to the mat. Bring both hands on the inside of the right foot. Move the right foot closer to the edge of your mat and turn your toes out. Stay with the foot flat or roll to the outside edge of your right foot. Stay on the hands or lower down to the floor. Be patient with your body. Make sure there's no unnecessary tension in the face or the neck. Feel the stretch in the hip flexors, the inner thighs, the outer hips. Breathe through the sensations that come up. On your next breath, slowly start to release, come up. Keep your left hand on the floor and place your right hand lightly on the right thigh. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, turn the upper body to the right. Gently push the right thigh away from you. If this feels enough, stay here or explore lifting the back foot up. Bring the left heel towards your sitting bones any amount. Maybe even reach the right hand back, grab the foot and bring it in even closer. Find a place that is right for you today. 
If you have the back foot, gently release it. Bring both hands down. Step the right leg back. Come to all fours. Pause a few moments. And then move up to your downward facing dog. Regular vinyasa or you can add some other options. You can try one legged on the right. Maybe add a double push up. Assess your energy level and decide what's right for you in the moment. We'll meet in Downward Facing Dog. We'll do everything on the other side. Feet together, left leg up, roll the hips open and bend the left knee for core plank variation. Exhale, bring the left knee to your left elbow. Two more, inhale and exhale one more exhale knee to elbow pause here optional push-up explore extending that left leg kicking the left heel out to the side any amount that's possible come back to down dog with the left leg up look at the hands and step the left foot forward close to your left hand bring the right knee down to the mat for low lunge and bring both hands on the inside of your left foot for our hip stretches. Turn your toes out. Stay with the foot flat or roll to the outside edge of the left foot. Let your knee fall out to the side. Stay on the hands or walk the hands forward and lower down. This side might feel different from the other side. Be patient with the body be fully present with the sensations that come up. Breathe through any resistance that might be there. Give yourself some time to relax and release into the pose. If you're on the floor, start to come up. Keep your right hand on the mat, left hand on your left thigh. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, turn the upper body to the left and gently push your left thigh away from you. If this is enough, stay here, explore lifting the back foot up. Deep quad stretch here as you bring your right heel towards your sitting bones. Maybe catch the foot, bring it in even closer. Find a place that's right for you. Keep the breath going. If you have that back foot, gently release it. Hands down on the floor, step the left leg back. A few seconds here on all fours. And when you feel ready, come up to your downward facing dog. Your choice of vinyasa here, do your regular way or keep the left leg floating up for one-legged chaturanga. Optional double push-up. Inhale, come up for your back bend. Exhale to downward facing dog. Pause a few moments here. Look forward at the space between the hands. Either walk, step, or hop the feet forward, forward fold. Feet hip distance apart for Padahastasana. Slide the palms under the feet with the backs of the hands facing the floor, toes touching the wrists. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Drape the chest over the thighs. Relax the head. Nice counter pose for our wrists and forearms. Take a few more moments here. Enjoy the stretch and breathe. Release the hands and take a few seconds here just to move the hands and the wrists. Notice how they feel. With the knees soft, exhale, slowly rise. Once you're all the way up, inhale, reach the arms up. 
Exhale, palms together, hands to your heart, mountain pose, Tadasana. Pause here a few moments. Notice the quality of the breath. Notice any changes in the body. Remember the intention that you set at the start of our practice. We'll continue with our flow. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Prepare for Malasana, deep squat. Bring the feet wider than the hips. Turn your toes out, bend the knees and drop the hips. Palms together, press the elbows and the inner thighs against each other and keep the chest lifted. Relax the face. On your next breath, release the hands to the floor, lift the hips, bring the feet hip distance apart again in a forward fold. Inhale halfway up, exhale forward fold. It's your choice, lightly hop back to Chaturanga, flow through your vinyasa, or just step back to downward facing dog. Feet together, right leg up, roll the hips open to the right, bend the right knee, stay here or wild thing, tap the right foot to the floor, Spin the back foot and reach the right arm forward. Lift the heart. Slowly back to downward facing dog with the right leg up. Look at the hands and step the right foot forward. Drop your left knee down for a lunge. We'll try our lizard variations. Bring the right shoulder under the right knee. Press the shoulder and the knee together. Stay here or stretch the arms out to the sides. Maybe even wrap the arms behind you for a bind. If you're feeling strong, tuck the left toes under and lift your left knee up. Stay a few more seconds in any of those poses. And carefully release that left knee down. Unwind from your pose. Pause on all fours, or when you're ready, come back up to your downward facing dog. We'll do everything on the other side. Feet together, left leg up, roll the hips open, bend the left knee, stay here or wild thing pose, lightly tap the left foot down, spin the right foot, and reach the left arm forward. Relax the head. As smoothly as you can, come back to downward facing dog with the left leg floating up. Look at the hands and step the left foot forward close to your left hand. Drop the right knee down. We'll explore lizard pose. Bring the left shoulder under the left knee. Press them together. Stay here or stretch the arms out to the sides in airplane arms or optional arm bind. Bring the arms behind you. If you want to add on, tuck the right toes under and lift the right knee up. Keep that right leg strong. Stay a few more seconds wherever you are. If you have the right knee, carefully release it down. Unwind from your pose, ball fours, or anytime you're ready, come up to your downward facing dog. Linger in down dog or move through the vinyasa of your choice. You can do your regular vinyasa or maybe add your double push-ups. Pause in downward facing dog. From here, bend the knees and walk your hands back towards the feet. Move into your second set of malasana. Bring the feet wider than the hips, turn the toes out, bend the knees and drop the hips. You can stay in Malasana or explore your arm balance, firefly, Titibasana. Lift the hips up, slide your right shoulder under the right knee and the left shoulder under the left knee like in your lizard pose. Actively press the shoulders and the backs of the knees together. That is what will help you in the arm balance. 
Plant the palms, spread the fingers wide. Sit on the arms. Explore lifting one leg up at a time to see how you feel. Or if you feel ready, lift both legs up, kick the heels out, stay really strong. Hold as long as possible for you. Play a few more seconds if you like, or if you're ready to release, find your malasana again. If the wrists are feeling sore, do some counter stretches, press the backs of the hands against each other, and breathe. Anytime you're ready, come up to a forward fold. Walk the hands forward to your downward facing dog. It's your last one for today. If you'd like a last vinyasa, go for it. We'll begin to cool down here, child's pose. Bring your knees down to the floor, sit the hips back. Stay with the arms reaching forward or bring the arms by your sides with the palms facing up. We'll begin to slow down our heart rate. Notice the breath. Soften any tension that might be in the face, the neck, or the shoulders. Slowly start to release and come up. We'll sit in hero pose virasana. Tops of the feet on the floor, or if you can, tuck your toes under and sit on the heels. We'll stretch the forearms and the wrists. Press on the back of the hand, palms facing you. Breathe through the sensations that come up. And switch sides. Carefully release, shake out the hands. Come down to sit on the floor for our bound angle pose, Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, inhale, lengthen the upper body and exhale, fold forward from the hips. Your own exploration here. With each exhale, you can fold deeper and walk the hands forward. Be patient with the body Stay a few more deep breaths. And slowly release, come up, walk the hands back for seated twist, Ardha Matsyandrasana. Extend the left leg forward, cross the right foot over. Stay here or bring your left foot in. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, twist to the right. Look over the right shoulder. Relax the face, the neck. With each inhale, lengthen the upper body, grow taller. With each exhale, twist a little bit more. One last breath here. And release. Unwind from your twist and switch sides. Cross the left foot over. Stay with the right leg straight or bring the right foot in. Left hand behind you for support. Right elbow to the outside of your thigh. Twist to your left. Look over the left shoulder. Soften your gaze. Relax your jaw. Enjoy the breath. Take one last cycle of breath and release. Come back to the center, uncross the legs. 
Prepare for bridge pose. Plant the feet hip distance apart and slowly roll all the way down to the mat. Press the feet down and lift the hips up. Walk the elbows closer together and interlace the fingers underneath you if you can. Feel the play of opposites. As you press the feet and the arms down, lift the hips and the chest up and breathe. Start to release from your pose, unclasp the fingers and slowly roll all the way down to the mat. Once the hips are all the way down, supine bound angle, bring the soles of the feet together and let your knees drop to the sides. Relax the arms anywhere. Last few seconds in your pose. And carefully release, bring the knees together, hug the knees into the chest and wrap the arms over the legs. You can stay at the center or add any movements that feel good to you. Rock side to side or move in circles to massage the low back. Get ready for eagle twist. Cross your right thigh over the left thigh, drop your knees to the left, and press the right shoulder down. If the twist is too intense, uncross the legs and do a simple reclining twist with the legs stacked. Last few seconds in your twist. And release, come back to the center. Uncross the legs, we'll switch sides. Wrap your left thigh over the right thigh. Drop your knees to the right and press the left shoulder down. Or do a simple reclining twist with the legs stacked. Soften the face, enjoy the breath, enjoy the twist. Take one last deep breath here. And release, come back to the center. Uncross the legs and bring the knees into the chest for happy baby pose. Bring the knees wide and lift the feet. Press your tailbone down towards the floor. Keep the face soft and relaxed. Stay at the center or add any movements that you like in Happy Baby. Rock gently side to side or explore extending the legs. Whenever you're ready to relax, release from your Happy Baby pose and prepare for Shavasana. Let go of your controlled ujjayi breath. Relax the feet, the legs, arms by your sides with the palms facing up. Close the eyes and feel the eyes become heavy in their sockets. Relax the tongue, let it fall away from the roof of the mouth. 
scan the body to soften any remaining tension or gripping that might still be there. Shavasana is a time for complete surrender. Whatever comes up here, thoughts, sensations, sounds from the environment, notice them, allow them to be there, and watch them drift away. Keep coming back to your breath and to your body. We'll stay here a few more minutes. Keep still and rest.
If you need more time in Shavasana, feel free to stay longer. If you are ready to reawaken, still with the eyes closed, start with small movements anywhere, your toes, your fingers. Give yourself a nice long stretch, reach your arms up, point the toes, free movement here. Slowly bend the knees, roll over to one side, pause when you get there, rest your head on your arms, enjoy a few more moments of peace and quiet. When you feel ready, press away from the floor, come up to any seated pose. Sit with your spine nice and tall. Observe how you feel after our practice. Bring the palms together in front of the heart. Bow the head down in gratitude. Remember the intention that you set at the start of our class. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, let everything go. Take this peaceful energy and mindfulness with you as you go through the rest of your day. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.